So welcome everyone. Today we will discuss uh, crime and punishment. Can you, uh, Martin, could you please tell me what punishment is? Punishment? Uh, trest. Trest, výborně. So when do people get punished? When? Uh, when they did crime. Uh, yes, but do we do crime? Uh, what do we say for this? For example, Matthew, we don't do crime. What is the verb for this? Hmm. Commit crime. We commit a crime. Excellent. Commit. Uh, I will also write it here. Commit a crime and get punishment. All right. These are the verbs for for our our uh, nouns over here. Okay. We don't use do because uh, crime is a bad thing, and when you do bad things, we usually use the words like commit. Okay. Wonderful. Let's continue. Uh, as you remember, and I hope you do, uh, we had uh, pictures here, and I would like you to put uh, words to those pictures, all right? These are possible crimes, and we begin here with theft. So, um, can you translate the word theft? Uh, Matthias, can you try? Theft. What is a theft? Uh, uh, and now, in English, it's interesting because there are many kinds of theft. Let's have a look at the pictures, although there are two more words that are not a theft, right? Now, let's try this one. Ladislav, can you try the first one? Uh, murder. Yes. And what do you call the criminals who do this? Uh, murderer. Murderer. Excellent. Okay. So, when you kill someone, in other words, uh, great. Matje, what about this one? Uh, shoplifting. Excellent. What do you call the criminals who do this? Shoplifter. Shoplifter. Wonderful. Uh, Luca, let's try one more. Luca, are you there? Yeah. Uh, some robbery. Excellent. What do you call these guys? These Robbers. Two? Robbers. Wonderful. Ivan, let's try this one on the right. In the top right corner. Uh, I don't know if that's mugging. Mug yeah, you're or, correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, can you tell me the difference between mugging and robbery? How are Rob they different? Uh, robbery is is, uh, is usually at a store or something. Mm -hmm. that, uh, okay. So we can rob a place or somebody, okay? Yeah. But can I mug a place? You cannot. Yeah, you, you can. So we mug people. And when you get mugged, uh, what do you think is more violent? Robbery or mugging? Definitely robbery. Robbery, yeah. Usually when you say robbery, you think of guns, that somebody's pointing a gun at you. Mugging can also be with a gun. But usually it's just uh, somebody taking your bag and running away, okay? Or necklace, for example. Let's try another idea here. Um, uh, Jan, can you try? What is this picture? Uh, like pickpocket thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the crime. And what do you call the criminal that does this? This guy is a pickpocketer. Uh, no, 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 there's nothing here. So simply pickpocket. He's a pickpocket. Okay. okay. This, this here we don't use R usually. All right. Thank you. Good job. Uh, let's try this one. Uh, easy. Can you try? Arson. Mm. Yeah. Can you also translate it? Zhastvi. Uh, that's the Jhastvi. crime. And Ajhash, the, the guy, is called what? Ersonra. No, no, no. There's a different ending there. Not, not ear, not, not art. Uh, it's okay. Anybody else knows? Uh, an arsonist. Arsonist. Okay. So we usually have the ending R or ist, or just in the case here, we, ju we can just say he's a pickpocket. So it's either nothing. There is no ending, or there is ER, or there is IST. Okay, so an arsonist. Okay, uh, and the last one here, 
David, can you try? Yeah. Uh, oh, I can see the picture. Wait a second. Uh, on the right. Yeah. yeah. In the bottom right corner. Uh, seems like a robbery. I don't know. Somebody's um, breaking to a house. But it's your own house, sir. Yeah. If you yeah. rob a place, it must be a shop, for example. Okay, so this is a burglar. Burglary, yes. Burglary, burglary is only for homes of people, huh? nowhere else. And then what would you call the criminal? This guy is a... Uh, a burglar. Burgl a burglar, excellent. Yeah, good job. Are there any questions, guys, for, this, for these words? So let's try one last time. The criminals, what do you call the criminal? Uh, and then we can go word by word. So Martin, what do you call the criminal here? The people who do robberies are commit robberies, right? Robbers. Robbers, excellent. Easy. And one more. People who commit a burglary are burglar. Burglars. Burglar. Yes, it's a strange word, I know. Uh, let's try Matthew. People who commit mugging are muggers. Muggers. Matye. People who commit shoplifting are. Shoplifters. Shoplifters, good job. Matthias, people who commit pickpocketing are? Pickpockets. Pickpockets. Ladislav, people who commit arson. Arsonist. Arsonist. And people who commit murder. Uh, Yuri, can you try? Murderist. No, no, no. No, no. ER at the end. Only ER. Murder. Murderer. 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 All Murderer. right. Good job, everyone. Let's try another set of crimes over here. So uh, here are also some crimes that we don't have in the book. So I hope that you remember from last time. Let's try the one on the left. Uh, so Ivan, can you tell me? Cyber crime. Cyber crime, excellent. So you can get hacked, okay? Uh, any idea, guys, what we would call the criminal who, who commits a crime like this? Hacker. A hacker, yeah, we can call him a hacker. Wonderful. Or a cyber criminal, if you want. Okay, excellent. Let's try another one. Uh, Yuzi, can you try? Mm, yes. Uh, drug dealing. Excellent. And the, the criminal would be called? Dealer. A dealer, great. Lukash, can you try this one? Uh, some vandalism. Yes, and what would you call the people who commit this? Wandals. Uh, you know, just the pronunciation, vandals. Wandals. Vandals, yes, correct. Do you remember, guys, where vandals as a word comes from? Do you remember where it comes from? I think we said it last time. Yeah, um, I don't mind. Uh -huh. so some was, yeah? tribe <laughs> from Poland or somewhere, some uh -huh. tribe called vandals that like barged into other places and destroyed some things yeah, yeah and which empire were they at the end of there was a big empire the, Ro the roman empire roman empire yeah, western roman empire so they were the ones who just came into the empire and destroyed uh, beautiful paintings beautiful architecture and they didn't bring much with them they were just destroying that's why it's interesting that it stays in the language right even after many years uh, let's continue now what about this one? Uh, for example, for example, Jan, can you try? I think that uh, psychical or emotional. Uh, we would say physical abuse. We would say physical. Uh, yeah? Physical abuse. Excellent. Physical abuse or child abuse in this case. Yeah. What would you call the people who commit abuse? The, the criminals who are doing this. Like abusers? Yeah, abusers. Yeah, excellent. Now, abuser is an interesting word because abuse uh, can be někoho uh, tirat nebo něco zneužít. You can also use it as zneužít. So if you say, for example, that uh, somebody is an abuser, it can be that you commit this crime. That's one possibility. But what if I say that I'm, a, for example, a drug abuser? Can you explain this one, anyone in the classroom? 
I am a drug you, abuser. That I'm you like, use drugs to do something, probably sell them, if you are abusing them. Well, if you abuse them yourself, that means you yeah, do it then yourself. you are taking in. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, in other words, we can use it for things that uh, you do too much that are bad for you. Mm. If you are, a, a, let's say, an alcohol abuser or yeah. a game, uh, let's say, video games abuser, it simply means that you do them too much, right? And it's bad for you, bad for your health. So, you see, there are two meanings for abuser. One of them is the person who commits an abuse, and the second is the person who uh, even like abuses things, right, for his own benefit. And it can even be uh, things like drugs, for example. Okay, so uh, there are two meanings for abuser. Let's try another idea here. Um, Jan, oh, sorry, I just asked you, sorry. Uh, Ladislav, can you try? Uh, Riot. Riot, excellent. So rioting would be the, uh, the crime. What do you call the people who riot? Rioters. Rioters, good job. And can you also tell me the difference between a demonstration and rioting or protest? Uh, demonstration protest? is peaceful. Yes, excellent. Good job, guys. Well done. Let's try another idea here on the right. Um, Matthew. Oh, that's looting. Uh-huh. And can you again tell me what is the difference between looting and robbery? Well, looting is just more random people storming a place and taking whatever they get to. And robbery mm -hmm. is a planned thing with a specific group of people. Excellent. Or, a, or just a person. Excellent. Great. So it's more disorganized. We could say that robbery is very organized by people who know each other. Uh, what are the, who are the people who actually commit looting? What do you call them as criminals? Looters. Looters. Good job. All right. What about this one here, Martin? Can you try? Um, that's this. You try to bring something inside the country illegally? Uh -oh. We don't have many words left. So we have uh, rape or smuggling. Rape or smuggling? What, which one is it? So uh, I think it's smuggling. <laughs> yeah, you are correct. And uh, so we bring things illegally into the country. And what do you call the people who commit smuggling, Martin? Smuggler. Smuggler. Great. Takže pašování, we could say in Czech. And the last one here, Ivan, can you try? Uh, that's the rape. Yes, rape. So, um, what do you call the people who commit rape? Do you know? Uh, Ray, I... It's like an ar arson. So we had arson, arsonist, and now we have rape. Rapist. Rapist. Okay. A horrible crime as well. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Are there any questions? I take it as a no. So one last time, let's try punishments. And then we will have a look at the textbook for a very short time. So punishments are here. And there are, of course, more punishments than that. But these are the most common punishments. So let's see uh, by the pictures on the left. You can see this one. So, uh, for example, Matthias, can you tell us uh, what punishment is this? Uh, capital punishment or death penalty. Mm -hmm. Excellent. They are both correct. You can choose which one you prefer. All right. Uh, let's try another one. Mate. Go to jail, prison. Uh huh. Or imprisonment. Uh, then over here, um, mm, let me see. David, I haven't asked you for a long time. Sorry. Mm, uh, this. Corporal punishment, probably. Mm -hmm. You're right. Yeah. Uh, so that simply means you get physically beaten by some authority. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Corporal punishment can also be done by a teacher, especially a long time ago. It was a common, common thing, common practice. All right. Lukash, can you try next one? Uh, house arrest. Uh, house arrest. House arrest. Just pronunciation but it's okay you cannot leave the house you have this tracking device on you wonderful what about this uh let me ask you can you try um, 
So it can be community service or fine. What do you think? Or fine. A fine, yes. Um, I'm also thinking now there's a special word. A fine can be for anything, right? You simply have to pay money. But there's a special word for a fine that you get for traffic for breaking the traffic rules. Anybody knows what we call it? Ticket. A ticket, excellent, excellent. So yeah, I actually I should write it here. A kind of fine. Or let, let me just write it like this. A ticket. It's a kind of a fine. All right, so let me do it like this. Excellent, guys. Well done. So the last one must be then. Uh, this is a fine a ticket. And this one here, uh, Jan? That's community services. Community service. Excellent. So you help around, you clean the, clean the place. Are there any questions? All good? Where did I leave it here? OK, so uh, speaking of this task right here, it's on page 85, right? And it's the, the exercise number five. There are some, there's maybe some new vocabulary and I just want to be sure we understand it. So let's just check this one. And also uh, whether you could explain it to me because uh, I, we haven't checked yet. So I would like to see, uh, you should already have it done. You should already know the words. So Ivan, what about the first one? Appeal. Appeal and investigation. No, I, I cannot use this one. It's okay. Uh, Ladislav, what do you think? Launch. Launch, yes. Can you explain what we mean when you launch an investigation? Use different English words, easier English uh, words. Start an investigation? Yes, and what's an investigation exactly when we started? Uh, trying to find some leads. Uh, trying to what? find the culprit. Culprit, yeah, okay. Or the, the criminals, yeah? So we don't know who, who has done it but we are trying to find the people who committed the crime okay and uh, are there any other things i can launch maybe you know the word from a different context what else can i launch a missile yeah yeah exactly uh so then i have a missile missile or missile missile in british english and right and it can blow up it can uh, or elon musk launches uh, not rockets. missiles but rockets right into space excellent what about number two uh anyone anyone can try patrol sorry How patrol uh, patrol a house no. no 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 when you patrol you go around so a house is in one place so that's why we must say search Search, you can also search an area, but we patrol an area because you have a car and you go around an area. When you search it, it can also be search an area. That would be correct, but I cannot patrol a house. That's why we have uh, two and eight like this. So you go inside, you want to check what's uh, in the house. Okay. There is a word that we don't have in the book and um, do you know what we call a special piece of paper, kind of like permission uh, for searching a house? Because at least in, uh, in developed countries with democracies, police cannot just enter your house and search it without uh, telling you anything. They need a special permission from the court. Povolení k domovní prohlice, že? Right, that's what we call it in, in yeah. Czech. Anybody knows what we call it in English? I know this is a new word. That's okay if you don't know. Permission? Uh, permission to search? The, yes. You can use logic and simply say, like, permission to search the house. Yeah, you could say that. Uh, we would understand it. But there's a special word for this. It's called a warrant. Warrant. It's interesting because they just have one word for that. Warrant. Okay? So uh, the police will knock on your, on your door. You open and say, hey, do you have a warrant? Do you have a warrant? And they will say no, and you say bye-bye, right? They cannot check the house. So that's the idea. Um, so warrant, uh, there are more meanings of warrant, of course, huh? but uh, this one here is what we need. Uh, let's try number three, um, the suspect. Th there's an interesting thing I want to tell you about this, but before that, uh, what do we do with the suspect? Martin, can you try? 
um, make a suspect. How? Make a suspect. Make? No, no, no. Easy. Can you try instead? It's okay. Identify. Oh, yeah, it can be, but there's a better word for identify. Interview. Interview, I think, is better. Look, uh, if you used uh, identify, that's also correct. But the thing is, I would not have um, another word here that is better for identify, which we should be here. Let's see. Yes. Let's have a look at three and seven now. When you interview someone, what do you actually do? Jan, can you tell me, what do you do when you interview someone? Uh, you are talking with a person about data mm -hmm. or about this something happened. Yes, yes, exactly. Uh, so we have this word here, the suspect. There's a little problem with pronunciation in this word. So let me show you how. Because here we have, it's a noun. Here it's a noun. Tady je to podstatné jméno, to znamená suspect, can we translate it? Můžeme to přeložit? Suspect? Podezřelý, že jo? Podezřelý, suspect. So, let's see the pronunciation. Uh, here you see this is the verb, but now over here, suspect, sus. Okay, this is important here. So a person believed to have committed a crime or done something wrong or something believed to have caused something bad, okay? Now, here's the thing that sus suspect is a, a noun and suspect is the verb. You, you can see it right here, the difference in pronunciation. So it is written the same way, but it's pronounced differently. So maybe let me see if I can play it for you. I hope it will be loud and clear. Suspect. Suspect and suspect. Suspect. Okay, guys, did you hear the did you hear the difference? Yes. It, you see, you know, it's a very little thing, but it can change the meaning a lot. And it's written the same way. That's the worst thing about it. So when you suspect, you can think or believe something to be true or probable. So how can I translate this? So far, the police do not suspect foul play. Takže předpokládat je jedna možnost, tak to přeložit. Then here, suspect, think guilty. To think that someone has committed a crime or done something wrong. Takže jak bychom to přeložili? Podezřívat. Podezřívat někoho, takže předpokládat nebo podezřívat, anebo to not trust or doubt. Někomu nevěřit, right? Nebo někoho zpochybnit. That's also the idea here. So uh, just remember this one, huh? Uh, remember, suspect is the noun. Suspect is the verb. And then we have a culprit. Uh, can we translate the word culprit? Matěj, for example. Culprit. Nějaký vyník. Vyník, výborně. And identify so that we know who he is. Okay. Then we have uh, an arrest. So, Matyash, can you try? What's the verb here for this? Um, make an arrest. Mm -hmm. Excellent. You can also arrest someone. You can also use arrest as a verb. That's also mm -hmm. fine. Then we have uh, witnesses. Uh, can you explain, uh, for example, Matthew, could you explain what uh, or who a witness is? Someone who saw the crime or was present during the crime. Excellent. Now, the, here it's a noun. Can I say uh, witness as a verb? For example, I witnessed the crime. Yeah, I can. you can. Excellent. So it's a verb and it's a noun. And the pronunciation is the same. Takže můžu být něčemu svědkem. My bychom to asi v češtině řekli jako být svědkem něčeho. Okay, but in English you can use just uh, uh, you can use it as a verb. That means I witnessed it. Is there any verb for this in Czech? I cannot think of it now. I cannot think of it in Czech actually. But in English it is possible to just use the verb. 
Now, what do we do here? We have four. So, Matthew, any idea what uh, how we would finish it? Um, appeal for witnesses. Excellent. So this is the police work, right? This is the poli what the police will do. They will appeal for witnesses. What do they do exactly when they appeal for them? They like try to comfort and get them to actually speak and like calm down and talk about the crime that they saw. Yes, yes, exactly. Well done. Oh, and then number six, the last one here, Lukash. Can you tell us what it is? Identify. Uh, we have used identify already. Yeah, so study. Study, that's it. Um, can you explain what CCTV is about? Or CCTV footage? Mm -hmm. Some camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And where are these cameras? Where can you find them? In shops or some objects. Yeah, 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 exactly. Maybe my, my dictionary will find it. Let's see. Yeah, they have a picture here. I, that's what I wanted. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to tell you there's also one more word for that. Uh, but let's see. Closed circuit uh, television, a system which sends television signals to a limited number of screens and is often used in shops and public places to prevent crime. So it looks like this. Now, it wants, they want to prevent crime. Now, uh, do you know the different word for this? There's also another possibility, a kind of a camera. You would use an edge surveillance. surveillance. Surveillance, excellent, excellent. Guys, you're smart, I love it. Now let's try this one. So surveillance, the careful watching of a person or place, especially by the police or army because of a crime that has happened or is expected. And then you would just say surveillance camera. My dictionary doesn't have it, but it 100% it exists. Okay, I, you can be sure. And uh, this comes from the verb survey, you, you see it here. And the survey is here, look at, okay? So slightly formal, to look at or examine all of something, especially carefully. Okay, and also, do you remember uh, the last word? I, I only wrote it into your chat, but what do you call that permission for entering somebody's house and searching it? What is, what is it called? Brand. Warrant. 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 Okay. Let okay. me double check. Maybe I hope I'm not wrong. A document. That's it. An official document signed by a judge or other person in authority, which gives the police permission to search someone's home, arrest a person, or take some other action. Uh, you can also say a search warrant if you want, but you can just say you can call it a warrant, an arrest warrant. All right. So actually, there are more meanings to this. Uh, you can call it a search warrant if you want, but if you just call it a warrant, that's okay. It's simply an official document signed by a judge. Can we translate the word judge? So, so, so then, or other person in authority, and they, they are given permission, uh, for example, to search someone's home or arrest a person. So if you just say warrant, uh, the document can be for many things, but uh, you can only say a warrant, that's okay. If you want to be very precise, if you want to be very exact, you can say, I have a search warrant, or I have an arrest warrant. How can we translate an arrest warrant or a warrant for his arrest? Anybody knows? Zatykač. Zatykač, výborně. Takže zatykač nebo povolení domovní prohlídce. Go for fine. And there's a very interesting uh, idiom right here. Sign your own death warrant. Yeah, that's really good. Uh, we, we understand because now it's a promise, right? Uh, sorry, it's a document. Uh, and here, sign your own death warrant. So there's nobody who will sign the warrant, only you, and you have the death warrant to do something that is harmful to your own position. That's a very interesting idiom right here uh, that uh, I know. Uh, cool. So you can study it also later. Yeah. By the way, guys, I'm using, um, it's called Cambridge Advanced Learner's Dictionary. I highly recommend using this one on your computer. You can download it probably somewhere. Uh, I don't know where. Uh, I, I even forgot where I got it from. It's a long time ago now. So you can try to find it. And uh, I highly recommend using it. It can really help a lot. All right, guys. So are there any questions about this? It's been a lot of words, but I believe that uh, over the last week, we have studied them a lot. They should not be such a big problem. And we have used them in conversation. And we are going to use them in conversation now. So I hope you will practice enough. 
if there are no questions, guys, then I would like to thank you a lot. And let's go to the conversation now.